Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Syed Din Hilal. Uh, this is MRI and CT Neuroradiology lecture. Today we will discuss on the basal ganglia level how to read the basal ganglia level and the quadrigeminal uh, cistern in MRI and CT. So let's go. So uh, this is very familiar picture to you, I know, and it is the basal ganglia. And uh, the ganglia is a misnomer word for this structure. Actually, it will be <coughs> said by <coughs> the neurologist, the basal nuclei. This is ganglion is the collection of the cell body in the peripheral nervous system. Uh, and the nucleus is the cell body collection of the cell body in the central nervous system surrounded by the white matters. This is called the nucleus. So the, both are the collection of the cell bodies but the ganglion are the collection of the cell bodies in the peripheral nervous systems like the dorsal root ganglion and uh, nucleus is the collection of the cell bodies in the central nervous system surrounded by the white matter. So this basal ganglia you can see here these are the basal ganglia and these basal ganglia are surrounded by the white matter and it is in the central nervous system so it should not be a ganglion it should be basal nuclei so but uh, the long times this misnomer was uh, used with the basal ganglion so <clears throat> here we can see some uh, important structures I am now discussing uh, the structures. The most important one is the caudate nucleus, then the lentiform nucleus, thalamus, internal capsule, quadrigeminal cistern, choroid fissure, and the hippocampal uh, area or tail. Here you can see the basal uh, nuclear or basal ganglion area. You can see this is the third ventricle, and we know the third ventricle. Uh, when we see the third ventricle, we can understand this is a basal ganglia level. So this is the lateral ventricle anterior horn, and uh, this is the lateral ventricle the posterior horn, and this area is the area for the basal nuclei or basal ganglion. So this is the head of the caudate nucleus, and this is the area of the lentiform nucleus and this is the area for the thalamus so these three structures are divided by a curved line and it is called the internal capsule we will show you uh, in the next uh, pictures and uh, if you go for uh, the t1 images and you can see this is uh, the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle this is the third ventricle and this is the head of the caudate nucleus this is lentiform nucleus and this is thalamus so here is a white line and this is called internal capsule and this area is the quadrigeminal uh, cistern i'll discuss these things uh, very soon and if you go for the t2 image <coughs> sorry uh, you can find the T1 image the fluid is black but T2 image the fluid is white so here you can see the caudate nucleus here of the caudate nucleus this is lentiform nucleus and this is the thalamus and this black curve angle angulation area is called the internal capsule here we can find the external capsules here you can see the external capsules and uh, more external area stream capsules is there if you go more lateral you can find the insula also so <clears throat> these uh, structures are very important because this basal ganglia uh, is the area uh, which uh, helps us to initiate any uh, uh, any program it's very important usually uh, when we have uh, uh, some uh, problem like uh, Parkinson's disease, we will see this area 
and we will try to find out what happens here. Mainly, uh, you can see some uh, uh, changes uh, in the <coughs> sorry in the in the midbrain. The it is called the substantia nigra. And you can see the quadrigeminal cistern here. This is the quadrigeminal cistern. This is the quadrigeminal cistern. It looks like a rhomboid shape or quadrangle shape. And uh, choroidal fissure. You can see this area is called the choroidal fissure. And this is, uh, you can see the uh, red line structure is an internal capsule. And the T2 image, the white area is called internal capsule. This internal capsule divided the <coughs> basal nuclei. Uh, it is the corded, uh, head of the corded nucleus. This is uh, the lentiform nucleus. Lentiform nucleus comprises two things globus pallidus, internal externums, and the um, Putamen. This putamen is uh, 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 outside the internal lentiform nucleus, and the inside area is globus pallidus. So this is called the, both are called together. It's called the lentiform nucleus, and this is the thalamus. So this is the head of the cornet nucleus, and uh, you can see uh, this is the lentiform nucleus. Uh, which comprises two things the globus pallidus and the putamen. Globus pallidus is inside and putamen is outside. And this is the thalamus. So, in between this area, this area is called the internal capsules. Internal capsules is nothing but the collection of the axons or white meters. <coughs> So all the um, actions from the uh, below, it goes up through the internal capsules and it uh, then reach to the thalamus and it goes to the cortex. This is the internal capsules. <coughs> Sorry. So this is a cortigeminal area, cortigeminal cistern. You can see the cortigeminal cistern and uh, here you can see this uh, area this is called the choroidal fissure area and the cortigeminal cistern we can see the choroidal fissure sometimes this choroidal fissure also known as a retrothalamic cistern so this area is called the superior cerebellar cistern because here the cerebellum so in front of the cerebellum or above the cerebellum, the cistern is called the superior cerebellar cistern. And uh, sometimes there's a uh, <coughs> choroidal fissure area is known as a retrothalamic cistern because it is just behind to the thalamus. So uh, you can see the <coughs> hippocampal tail here. You can see the hippocampal tail here. This is the hippocampal tail. And uh, this area is very important for the temporal epilepsy. Uh, if someone has a temporal epilepsy, this hippocampal area, uh, the density can be changed or the volume can be changed or both can be changed. If it is changed, then we can say that this patient has a, probably have the temporal epilepsy. And you can see here very small area. So this is called the pineal uh, body. <coughs> so this is all about the basal ganglion area. So from today we can try to say not the basal ganglia. We can say the basal nuclei because uh, this is a misnomer. So thank you for being with us, welcome for the uh, next videos.